Ciao a tutti and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to give your best wishes and congratulations in Italian. Hope you like it, let's go! First of all, you must know in Italian there's a difference in how you give best wishes, congratulations and compliments. Let's start with the best wishes. Auguri, auguri is the most common word for this purpose. And you can use it on many occasions, like for example a birthday, anniversary or a public holiday, such as Christmas or Easter. To make your wishes sound warmer, you can also use one of the following options. Auguroni, tanti auguri, tantissimi auguri, tanti cari auguri. Auguroni, tanti auguri, tantissimi auguri. Tanti cari auguri. Another common way to give your best wishes in Italian is by using the adjective buon or buona plus the name of the occasion you are celebrating. Like a birthday, compleanno, an anniversary, anniversario, Christmas, Natale, or Easter, Pasqua. So for example, buon compleanno. Buon anniversario. Buon Natale. Buona Pasqua. You can also combine the two options using the preposition di and say for example Auguri di buon compleanno. Tanti auguri di buon Natale. Tantissimi auguri di buona Pasqua, etc. But I'd like to mention also another occasion that people often celebrate in Italy and it's when someone's named after a saint. In Italian we call this day onomastico, onomastico. So for instance, on the 26th of December is St. Stephen's Day, so if you know someone with that name you can tell him Buon onomastico, buon onomastico. Stefano is the Italian for Stephen. Still in the best wishes is when you want to say good luck to someone. The following options are the most popular. Buona fortuna, buona fortuna, and in bocca al lupo, in bocca al lupo. Bocca is the Italian word for mouth and lupo means wolf. This is something very common to say in Italian and it's similar to the English expression break a leg. Let's move on to the congratulations, which in Italian are congratulazioni, congratulazioni. These are some instances where you can use this word. A promotion or a new job, graduation, a wedding or an engagement, a new birth. Let's see how to use this word in a context. You need the preposition per to refer to the reason you are congratulating someone. Congratulazioni per la promozione. Congratulations on your promotion. Congratulazioni per il nuovo lavoro. Congratulations on your new job. Congratulazioni per la laurea. Congratulations on your degree. Congratulazioni per il matrimonio. Congratulations on the wedding. Congratulazioni per il fidanzamento. Congratulations on your engagement. Then in case of a new birth you can say Congratulazioni per la nascita di tuo figlio if it's a boy and Congratulazioni per la nascita di tua figlia if it's a baby girl. Nascita is the Italian word for birth while figlio Figlia means son or daughter. Before we carry on with the last part of this lesson, I'd like to mention another word to say congratulations. Felicitazioni. Felicitazioni. This is similar to the word congratulazioni, but it's quite formal and to be honest, not very common in the spoken language. Finally, let's see how you can pay compliments to people in Italian. The word we use in this case is complimenti, complimenti. You generally say it when you either like something about the person 
or for something they've done or achieved. Let's look at some real life examples. The first is something you can say when someone cooked a delicious dinner for you. Questa cena è deliziosa. Complimenti. Questa cena è deliziosa. Complimenti. The next one is to show your appreciation for a beautiful painting. È un quadro stupendo. Complimenti. È un quadro stupendo. Complimenti. Then you can say the following compliment when someone's wearing a dress that really suits them. Questo vestito ti sta molto bene. Complimenti. Questo vestito ti sta molto bene. Complimenti. The next one, instead, means that two people are a splendid couple. Siete una coppia stupenda. Complimenti. Siete una coppia stupenda. Complimenti. Example number five is what you can say to someone with a very nice house. Che bella casa. Complimenti. Che bella casa. Complimenti. And the last one is to address someone who's very talented. Hai molto talento. Complimenti. Hai molto talento. Complimenti. And this is all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more lessons like this one. I'll see you in the next video. A presto. Ciao ciao.